Have you ever wondered what goes bump in the night? What could be lurking round the corner? What shadows are waiting for us in the dark? Why we feel like we are being watched by the mysterious eyes of an unknown entity? When all rational explanations have been exhausted, it only leaves one explanation. The paranormal. Take a journey into the realm of the paranormal with your hosts, Damon Penny and Ben Winfield. We explore all things paranormal from mediums, to apparitions, from orbs, to the occult, from demons, to angels, and everything in between. So strap in, and join us, as we explore into the unknown. And don't forget, things can get, a little, strange. The Other Dimension Show on Pulse Talk Radio. Welcome, welcome, welcome! It's that time again. It's your Friday night paranormal fix. And yeah, I'm on my own. Can't believe it. Just waiting for Ben to get back from Birmingham. And we got a lot to get through tonight. Now, don't forget, guys, I don't know if you've seen The Other Dimension on Facebook. We'll be running a competition tonight. I've got all the bits with me. That'll be coming up after the advert. So we're going to be doing a little question for you guys. Also, don't forget, we've got two new sponsors for the show. Don't forget to check out B Paranormal Equipment. 20% off any paranormal equipment as long as you quote the show. Also, Slate and Bone, for all your one-off bespoke projects, head over to Slate and Bone on Facebook and quote the show and you'll get a special discount so yeah welcome along i'm your host tonight i'm damon penny aka the paranormal viking and we are here right here on the other dimension live on facebook live on pulse talk radio big shouts out to the boss carl and let's welcome you along i'm gonna let you guys sort of build up in the chat room big shouts out to jacqueline i'm gonna talk about a few things to get through so let's get on with it so hey matt how you doing welcome along good to have you along we are waiting for ben if he doesn't turn up unfortunately you've just got me tonight and i'm just gonna sit here and chat a load of crap so let's get on with it now as you guys know i've officially gone viking my main religion now is i'm norse i'm viking so i've been doing a lot of research and stuff into that so Big shouts out to the All Father, out to everybody that knows about the Norse mythology. There's a lot going on there. So we're going to talk about that in a bit in regards to the paranormal because with the Vikings, they sort of worship spirits because the gods weren't actual gods. They were more like um, spirits. So we're going to talk about that. Um, but first, I want to get onto a subject that I've been seeing a lot of. Shouts out to Jeanette Bean. How you doing? Out to Annette. Welcome along. Um, so, little subject that I want to get sort of into is Hollywood. Now, I watched something the other day called Veronica. Now, it's a film on Netflix. If anyone wants to go and check it out, go and watch it. It's supposed to be the most scariest film, and only one in a thousand people can actually watch it um, from start to end. Now, I've done it, and it's nothing to write home about. It's not really that scary at all. Um, definitely one that you could probably swerve. It's not one that I would recommend. Now, we talk about this a lot on the show. Add to Vonnie. Welcome on, Vonnie. Um, we talk about Hollywood and the effects that it has on the paranormal world, the acceptance, the good, the bad. Um, so we're going to be talking about that tonight. Add to Louisa. Welcome along, Louisa. Now, let's. it would be good to get you guys in the chat room. Uh, anybody on Pulse, if you want to join the chat room, head over to facebook.com forward slash TLD Paranormal or facebook.com forward slash Demonologist UK. Big shouts out to the Essex Ghost Hunters, out to Russell Old. Don't get catch him live. After the show, 
with Journey to the Unknown. Now, it'd be good to get you guys sort of perspective in the chat room. Uh, no, he's not there yet, Louisa. As soon as he gets in, I'm going to add him on. So I'm just sort of on my own chatting rubbish. So, yeah, I want to get you guys' perspective. Now, I mean, how do you think that Hollywood has changed the paranormal field? Now, I know there's a lot of people on Pulse that lock in. Love to get your perspective. If you just want to stick it up there on Facebook to find me, send me a message. I'll get it up there. Um, Add to Jacqueline, I ate him. I got really hungry before I come on, and I ate him. So he's now being digested. So let's look at the Hollywood and how it affects the paranormal. Now, let's look at the advantages and the disadvantages. Start with the advantages. Now, as we know, Hollywood has had a major effect. Since the days of Most Haunted, um, it's a lot more acceptable. It is very acceptable now. It's a conversation you can have on a day-to-day -day basis when you're sitting there in the pub with your friends or even at a family barbecue. Uh, it's easy to sort of bring up the subject of ghosts now. It's easy to bring up subjects of spirits and demons and interdimensional beings, even UFOs and, you know, um, extraterrestrial phenomena. Uh, when you talk about things like um, stuff like um, aliens visiting, um, the thing that happened in Gnome, that's a big one. Roswell, you've got um, Rendlesham Forest. So with Hollywood sort of covering, you know, films like The Fourth Kind, The Conjuring Universe, um, it's allowed the paranormal to be a lot more acceptable. Um, I, I see this as a bonus. You know, when I first started investigating the paranormal and learning about demonology and occultology, it was a taboo subject. Um, chat room going absolutely crazy. You guys are hitting it up. I tell you what, do me a favor. The more thumbs up, the more likes we get. Um, it sort of, it goes towards the algorithm of Facebook, Facebook, you know, so we get more views than that. So if you can do that for me, it's good. Even though all the Pulse guys, you guys are legendary. So yeah, that's her Rusty saying Hollywood ruined the paranormal, but you've got, as much as it ruined it, you've got to look at the pluses as well. Like, Rush, you sort of started the same sort of time that I did. I remember the first investigation I went on with you guys. Um, and back then, it was such a taboo subject. It was something that you just, you didn't talk about in day-to-day -day life. It's something that was very taboo, very sort of, you know, if you spoke about it, it was very um, straight jacket, padded cell, you know. Um, so the advancement of Hollywood bringing in like, you know, the conjuring, uh, universe, the paranormal activities, the, um, insidious branch, you know, these sort of movies and films and programs like ghost adventures and most haunted people sit there and, and, and take chunks out of most haunted. But in all honesty, guys, this is the God's honest truth without most haunted. I wouldn't be doing this. This is most haunted was a, a massive inspiration for me. It got me into doing what I'm doing. Um, so this has allowed the advancement of the acceptance into the paranormal world. Um, I would fit well in a padded cell. <laughs> I'll share it with you, mate. I'll share it with you. Um, hi, Kathy. How are you doing? Happy Friday. Um, so, yeah, the Hollywood has, has given this acceptance. Um, also, let's look at the other advances and the advantages of Hollywood and these paranormal programs. It's people that want to know. It's allowing people to um, investigate more into the paranormal. Um that's Jacqueline saying the initial most haunted was brilliant and got me into it, but the activity in more recent ones was debatable. hundred percent agree with that. I mean, there are very questionable things happening in the most recent sort of most haunted. And don't get me wrong. I've got major respect for Yvonne, for um, David Wells, Fred Bat, um, Carl Beatty. I, I would love them on the show just to have like that conversation with them to see what gave them that inspiration. Because you think about it, the time when most haunted start, it was 
like I said, a taboo subject. So for them to sit there and go, this is what the world needs and be able to move forward and get to that point where they've done the sort of the pilot show. Do you think it's a moment of inspiration? I'd like to know where that inspiration come from. You know, I'd like to have that interview with them. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. I agree with that, Jacqueline. It's the pressure of TV networks needing things to happen to keep viewers hundred percent. Um, but to be honest with you, if we look at, if we break down what you just said, let's look at it in this way. The fact that there, the pressure is there and they're creating this sort of paranormal activity out of nothing. Really, they're not keeping viewers, are you? The hardcore paranormal, you know, the guys that go, I'm hardcore, you know, like me, um, who sit there and talk to demons and stuff. And if you look at that, they're not really keeping the viewers, are they? They're losing viewers. It's more the um, what I like to address as the normies, the people that are intrigued of what they're watching, but have no sort of get up and go to go and do it, you know? And that's not a slur on people or putting them at a disadvantage or having a go at them. Um, some people, some people just, there's, there's, there's thinkers and there's doers in there. Um, I'm a doer, especially when it comes to the paranormal. Um, been doing it for a long time now, but, um, when we look at the advancements of Hollywood, um, it spreads knowledge, you know, um, I've done numerous interviews on paranormal path. I've done equilibrium paranormal, um i done spokane I, I think i'm up to like 34 interviews now and every interview i do i'm allowed to spread 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 i'm allowed to spread that little bit more knowledge for people to sort of listen and to think about it without hollywood i wouldn't even have this opportunity to be sitting there and talking to you guys um and be able to explain and be able to sort of i'm not the sort of person who wants people to take my point of view i'm happy <laughs> i accept that i'm a weird creature um 100 there's not many people out there that go 100 viking you know follow the religion um runic rings i get my dragon bands i've got my my runic necklace um as Jeanette say they keep the ones that don't always know any different you might have to expand on that. It's either me being blonde or I just don't get it. Um, you're a nice, weird creature, though. Thank you, Vonnie. Yeah, I mean, I accept that I'm weird and I don't get people to come over to my way of thinking. I want people to question like I do. You know, people to sit there and go, why has he said that? Why has Damon turned around and said that... Um, Aliens are interdimensional. Demonics are interdimensional. Um, why is there such things as um, unforgivens and the fallen ones and, you know, the ugly ones? Um, I want people to sort of take their own standpoint with the paranormal. And Hollywood has allowed that. And I, I'm talking about the advantages here. Get onto the disadvantages in a minute. But Hollywood has allowed that as much as we all sit here and go, ah, oh, Hollywood, Hollywood, bad, 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 bad. There are good that comes out of it. Um, <laughs> we are the new normal. Um, I'm sort of like on the par with the paranormal guys, but I've taken it a little step further. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm like even weird in a weird bunch of people. So. I've accepted us of that. I mean, I'm hundred percent accepted with that. I, I, people's opinions are people's opinions. Oh, I can't change that. So it is what it is. Um, actually, Jeanette saying we speak and feel spirits. Some can't hundred percent, but you think about Hollywood as well. In that sense, it's allowed people to discover that gift that they have. It's allowed mediums to find other people that are like-minded and expand on mediumship skills and learn how to open up and learn how to, speak to spirits and learn how to contact with spirits 
And I class this as an advantage. You know, it's um, definitely something that is an advantage within Hollywood. Now, disadvantages. There are many. Um, my main bugbear with Hollywood in the paranormal is the pure fact of the Ouija board. Oh, my God. I have done about 300 Ouija boards and I've never had an attachment. That doesn't mean that I'm sort of endorsing people going out and using a yes, yes board, you know. Um, I'm not. Uh, Ouija boards are dangerous. Um, they're not something to be taken lightly. Any sort of spirit contact, divination, um, whether it's, I don't know, uh, dowsing rods all the way up to EVPs. Um, it's something, any sort of divination is something that's really, really dangerous and should be done properly. I've always done my Ouija balls properly, and that's why I'm here to tell the tale. Um, I've had some amazing things through Ouija board, some really, really good evidence. I will, I'm going to set up an interview here on the other dimension with the Ouija expert or Ouija specialist. And I will talk about my experiences then, because I want them to sort of, from their specialist area, sort of discuss and see how my sort of experiences sort of collate to others. Um, yes, I've met Zoe on the board. Um, do I believe it's demonic? No. Don't forget, guys, if you have any questions, I'm happily to jump over the top of whatever I'm rambling about and answer them. Um, as a Jacqueline saying, I'm naturally drawn to people who are spiritual or have mediumship skills. One saying Karen Dalman is excellent. I've never heard of her stick me in touch get her on the show um i feel that i'm naturally drawn to people who are more not i wouldn't say medium wise people that are open to question the norm you gotta remember the word occult means hidden you know occultology is the study of hidden knowledge um that's a broad umbrella for such things as esocentric exocentric uh demonology um, the study of ancient literature, you know, some of the scrolls that come out of Alexandria, some of the um, the grimoires that come out of Alexandria are, are amazing. You know, if you look at the Saxon Edus, which is another thing um, that I've been studying recently, it was a, um, it was an English written, it was a Christian point of view on the Northman, the Viking. Um so slightly bias, but I'm trying to read it in a way where I understand it. You know, being Norse myself now, being Viking, pagan, heathen, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm trying to read it from a bias perspective almost. So, um, as to Jacqueline, I'd love to have her on the show. Um, I want to use this show as a voice for the paranormal world. You know, I want this to be the main place to go to where people want to voice their opinions. Um, Cause I'm really open to like any sort of opinion. Um, yeah. I mean, and then when you look at Hollywood and I went right off on a tangent there. So we look at the disadvantages. It's the fact that they make things into, um, Oh, she's the Ouija queen. Well, you haven't met my Ouija specialist. I'm telling you now, mind blown. Um, so disadvantages, especially when it comes to the Ouija board, they make the paranormal into trends. I don't know if you guys noticed this, right? It's something that has always been a massive bugbear for me. Probably more of a bugbear than paranormal apps. Now, when I mean trends, for instance, we spoke about this before on the show. We spoke about, you know, when you when you had the Conjuring come out, the Conjuring 2, and we had Valak the Demon, the amount of contacts that I got with people saying that they had Valak was crazy. You know, it, it, it started a trend. When the film Ouija come out, had a massive influx of cases where people have opened boards and not shut them down properly. 
and they have negative attachments, demonic attachments. Um, the Hollywood theme is starting trends. You know, uh, what's the one, you know, uh, I got told once that demons are trending. Well, I've been doing this now for about seven years, and they definitely weren't trending seven years ago. So, so a disadvantage to Hollywood is the fact that they start trends and they make it cool. They make these YouTubers do Ouija boards or open Dibbuk boxes or Devil's Play boxes and they encourage teenagers and people to just go out there and do it. And then you think to yourself, like, what are you doing? Grow up. This is not something that you need to be messing about with. This is not something that is cool. It's not something that's trendy. People like me, people like paranormal teams, like people, uh, mystics, um, matrix, um, equilibrium, equinox out there. These are all paranormal teams that know what they're doing. These people like me and Ben, we know what we're doing. People like, um, Charleston Gibbs. If you guys don't know about Charleston, check out his page. The guy is a man of serious knowledge. Shouts out to Millie Louise. How you doing? Charleston is a man of serious knowledge. He knows what he's talking about. People like us have studied this. We find the safest way to tackle what we're about to deal with. It's not something that you can just, oh, mate, it makes my blood boil. It's not something you can just go out of a group of mates and just go, is there anybody there? Can you give us a sign? Bam, attachment. Take it home with you. Feed it three times a day. It'll look after you. No, it's not a pet. Yeah, this is a spirit. And some of them haven't even uh, got to the point where they're like sort of, ah, oh, they just see it on, on YouTube and they see it on these places and you just think to yourself like, what are you doing? Big shouts out to Ben backstage. I'm going to get you on in two secs, mate. I'm just, at the moment, I'm in the middle of a rant and I need to get it done. Um, Yeah, like Hollywood makes it cool for people to go out and experiment and then know what they're doing. And you just think to yourself like, why? Why are you doing this? Seriously, grow up. You would not walk into a cage with two rabid Rockweilers or two rabid tigers if you didn't know what you were dealing with. So why are you walking into the forest and trying to talk to spirit? Like, seriously, grow up. Um, Millie Sam Ben, I just want to say that I'm very sorry for everything. I don't even know what's going on there. Let's get him on. Hold on. Add to stream. Yo! I'm alive. I'm alive. I've survived getting to Birmingham. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> oh, man, you guys have no idea. What? Where are you going to Birmingham? I'm in Birmingham. I'm with Wednesday Paranormal. I'm doing an evening with them. Oh, wicked. Everyone's in. I'm cool. not sure. Wicked. So, say hey, hi for all of us here on the show. Yeah, I will say hi. Yeah. Oh, Pandy. Yep. He's got his mask on. Yeah. It's COVID ready. It's COVID ready. This is Ben Winfield, the operative. You're right. Love him. <laughs> See, Damon, this is Andy. We need to try and get on the show when he's here. Hello, bud. You okay? For Christ's sake, Andy, get on the show, man. <laughs> on. How you doing, Andy? Good to meet you, mate. Yeah. We're going to get him oh, on. We're going to get him on, definitely. Really fun. So... Ben's with Wednesday. Yeah, we hear you, I'll tell then. you what, Ben. Yeah, no, I'll tell you what we're going to do, mate. Oh, we're going we're gonna to go for a quick ad break, and then we will get you back on the other side. Oh. So bear with us, guys. We shall see you after the break. Slate and Bone, the one-stop shop for all your slate heart and bespoke paranormal crafts with a full range of designs. 
and one off crafts. Why not treat that special someone? Visit now. Search Slate and Bone on Facebook and listeners of the show get a special discount. So quote the other dimension when ordering. So once again search Slate and Bone on Facebook and get yourself or someone something special. Be Paranormal Equipment, the number one place for all your paranormal gadgets, from RAM pods to laser alarms to SLS cameras shipped straight to your door. Visit on Facebook, just search for B.Paranormal Equipment and place your order. And listeners of the other dimension get a further 20% discount. Just let them know that you're a listener. So what are you waiting for? Pulse Talk Radio, the place to come for talk shows about the paranormal. Sponsored by The Psychic Clinic. Empowering self-healing. Thepsychicclinic.com Do you enjoy the Other Dimensions show? Do you want more from the boys? Do you need that one more show? Well, have we got a treat for you. Head over to www.patreon.com and become an official patron of the show. For just £3 a month you get a weekly bonus episode. This bonus episode can only be heard on Patreon by the true ODDs, so don't miss out. www.patreon.com and sign up today. And welcome back. Yay! The other side of the other dimension. Yeah. And oh, yeah. Ben, bit... can you hear us? Yeah, we had a bit of a technical issue there. Yeah. And it's, mate, it's Wednesday Paranormal, not Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mate, I've just rode through the freezing cold, man. I am knackered. Oh, yeah. Mate, you've got to sit there and do an investigation. <laughs> Mate, crazy 10 years of demonology 10 years of cultology compared is nothing compared to spaghetti junction <laughs> <laughs> well you look at it when, that way especially when it's foggy <laughs> ben who's millie because she's trying to get hold of you millie louise so she's saying sorry i will not speak on air about it all right right it's that's one it. of them things. right so um who's <laughs> ready for a competition <laughs> Now, me and Ben have put ourselves together and we've got ourselves a little care package for you to celebrate Christmas because we will not be live next Friday because it is Christmas Eve. And I've got to go and help Santa build some extra sketches so I won't be live. Um, so we've done a little care package for you guys. So if you want to win this, let me bring them onto the screen. You have a chakra burner with all your incense. You have... A witchy triple moon cauldron oil burner, and that's not it. You also get your witch and wizard cup. So, if you want to win all three of these prizes, all you have to do is as follows I want to know simple question how many times, how many shows have me and Ben done together? Including the Demonologist UK as well as the other dimension. I know the that, answer. That's harsh, man. Even wanted... I don't, that, even that I don't know the answer. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't. That's why I've done it. <laughs> so, guys, get your guesses in on the chat room. We're going to be announcing the winner at the end of the show, and they will be shipped off to you. I don't think they're going to arrive before Christmas, but they will definitely be there before New Year's. So, who wants that so once again get your answers in how many shows have me and ben done together since we started not last august not august gone the august before that there you go that's like we've been we've been going that long that's scary i feel old yeah no mate it's been like uh august september 11th a year and four months we've been doing this 
So, out to Debs, not 66. Not 66. Out to Vonnie, not 24. I'm going to let him keep guessing until I see the correct answer. Now, Ben. Yeah. Ben Bo. What is in store for Wednesday Paranormal tonight? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, that... I'm, I'm without Lou, which is scary. There's, look, there's, there's yeah. no Lou, which is weird. Is she on babysitting duties tonight? She's at home, yeah. I can't feel oh. lost. Right? Yeah, I, I would. <laughs> so Andy and Russ are going to be looking after me most of the night, hopefully. <laughs> uh, I, I, you <laughs> need looking means, after as well. <laughs> no, which means these guys are going to probably call, put me in some form of trouble. Oh dear. Add to Kathy, it's not 47. Add to Russ, not 55. Now, before it's not 72, Jeanette. You need to come down. You need to come down. Louise is saying you'll be fine, mate. <laughs> Yeah. Now, I said about the second part of the show. I wanted to talk about the um, the Norse. And I wanted to talk about because now I'm officially Viking, registered Viking, had my Viking baptism. I'm ready to go. He's officially out of the closet. I'm out of the closet now. I'm fully Ragnar. You know, <laughs> just just to throw a spanner of the works because you know what I'm like with words and. Uh, hashtag yep. saved rage rampage. Oh yeah, you're, you're not Viking. You're going to be Norse. Yeah, no, but Norse <laughs> just means North. Yeah, yeah, but Vi- Viking just means raid. Yes, I know, <laughs> I know. Technically, the technical term for my religion is heathen, but I don't like yeah. that. So I'm yeah. I'm Viking. <laughs> now. I read a really cool concept that Vikings don't see their gods as gods. They see them as good and bad spirits. They're not exactly gods, even though you've got people like Odin, Loki, Freg, Freya. Um, but they're not seen as spirits. They're seen more, uh, not seen as gods, sorry. They're seen more as good spirits, you know? Yeah, there's a, there's a crossover. They don't they don't bow to their gods like, say, Christianity no. gods. It's completely yeah. different religion. Mm. They sort of, from what I've seen, um, because they have demons as well. People don't realize this. Vikings have demons as well, and so do Celts as well. They have demons, and you have that age old story with me and Ben talking about they always have the three that always come up. Funny enough, they come up again. So, um, always the same, always, always, always the same. So, <laughs> Sounds like everyone's having a good time. Everyone's prepping for the night, so I apologise on the cross feed on them. That's all right. That's no problem. Um, just for the listeners that are locked in, um, still not a right guest there. We're getting there. Um, <laughs> so Bonnie really wants these. She's going a. She's going. Bonnie, you're going the wrong way, love. <laughs> She's trying, ain't she? Bless her. Yeah, she is trying. She's oh, trying. just on. I'm still trying to keep an eye to make sure none of the like the numbers ain't come up. Yeah, I don't think it See, has. Bit of information for no. everyone. Obviously, uh, uh, go for it, mate. Paranormal uh, guys love to hear what's coming up. Um, if yep. any of you guys that are listening, obviously, have me a personally on friend, you will notice I put a post up a couple of days ago. Yep. I have, for those that obviously don't and are listening to the show, I have been asked to write uh, a, basically a diploma state uh, for a demonology certificate. Wow. But in autology, not Christian demonology. So mm-hmm. if anyone was just wondering why I posted that up, <laughs> that might make a bit more sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Keep them guessing, guys. Keep them guessing. Still, no one's got there. So, with this diplomacy that you're writing, what is it going to sort of entail? Sort of sell it for the guys out there. Well, I'm not really good at selling. I'm terrible. Only when it comes to like selling my tat. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going to be looking at the basis of demonology, not from a Christian point of view, but from the scientific occult side point of view. So not seeing them as <laughs> evil and bad spirits, but seeing them more as animalistic and creature-based. Yeah. So looking into um, quantum theories, that them being a different species that exists within the quantum realm. That's, which, we, that's definitely where we come from. That's yeah. our standpoint. So, hey, mate, look, check this out. Look what I got. I don't know if you can see that. Nice. Hey, Gat. That's how I roll. <laughs> We're still going to have a fight, just for those that are listening as well. We are going to have a charity fight at some point. Damon's going to take me on and Lou with when he's been trained to fight Viking. Now, Lou's yeah, been training with a spear for many years, and I've been training with a saber for many years. Yeah, but I'm deadly with a set of chopsticks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So it um, should be an interesting scrap. Oh, mate, it's going to be a laugh. I'll probably get the crap kicked out of me. But I mean, Odin permitted the All Father. I might win. Who knows? Yeah, you'll be, you quite easily could be seeing Valhalla by the end of the day. Oh, yeah. I'm going to Ragnarok, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys who are guessing on the chat room, you're a little bit too high. So come down a bit. Hey, we've had about 40 guesses already and no one's so, close. I can't see the comments, can I? So Nah. Um, Kathy saying she was pretty good with the bow and arrow in her younger days. No, I used to I... love them ones with the over the sticky suction on them. I used to buy them and fire them at bald people. <laughs> Demon hunting with a sticky bow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you just have to lick it as well because if you didn't lick it and fire it, it was it wouldn't stick. So, <laughs> oh dear! I tell you what, we was just um, before you come live, um, Bonnie. I'm not I'm not actually including the Patreons on this as well. Ooh. This is just lives that we've done on Facebook. That's but thinking about it, that spans quite a few different shows. Yes, yes, because well, it's, not, it's not as many which, as you think. Well, which one do you classify that? Because obviously, you've got well, the shows that we originally started with, then you had them breakaway shows for a while that I dropped in on a few paranormal then lockdown then sessions. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. the paranormal. Yeah, there's more than you realize, isn't there? Yeah, but it's not as many as you think. This is the problem, you see, because yeah. I've not included interviews that we've done and I've not included the Patreons. Now, yeah. Yeah, we've done point. nine Patreons, so if you take that off of the number, it is quite close. So, yeah. you wouldn't believe it if I say it to you and you go, nah. We've, we've done more than that, or you go, we've done that much. Bearing in mind, that's a, a span of, we've been doing this now for 16 months. It's not it's not too bad. Is it near, um, mile, is it near a milestone number? Yes. I'm trying to guess now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to see if someone's got close. I mean... <sighs> Um, hold on. Oh, saying that though, Russ, Russ was very close. So yeah, Russ was quite close with one of his guesses. Um, let me work out what's going on here. So, oh yeah, before we come live, oh, Kathy was quite close with one of her guesses. Uh so was Debs. Joe, uh, you know what people have got close, but no one's got the actual number yet. So yeah. it is really, really was close. Like, um, yeah. yeah. But um, before we come live, we were talking about Hollywood and advantages and disadvantages, and I was having a rant. Um, what is your take? Because I turned around and said about Hollywood creating trends that's making people go out and yeah. they can investigate. What's your take on that? 
We well, had loads of trends, didn't you? You've had Pazuzu trend from Ghostbusters, then you had the Blair Witch trend. People going yeah. To that. yeah. You've had bloody Zozo, then you've had Valak. Everything comes from a trend. Yeah. Mm. And all because yeah. a certain group of people started it off. I won't mention the names. Yeah, well, see, I was talking about how people slay most haunted. But I was also saying, why people slate most haunted, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now if it yeah. wasn't for these guys. So as yeah. much as you've got to sort of slate them, hats off to them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And just to make it easier for everyone in the chat room who's trying to guess this, it's a number between 50 and 100. Right? Jeez. So guys, work out from there. Okay? <laughs> oh. Surely we can't be that close. Um, it's a number. It's a number between fifty and hundred. You're going to be quite bet, surprised. Is Lou screaming in the comments? No, she's not. Ooh, that's, that's strange. <laughs> I think she's busy. So, yeah. But um, we were talking about most haunted, and we were talking about you know. I know I said the other direction, Vonnie, but there's a little delay. All right, don't don't shoot the messenger, man. <laughs> You go for him, Bobby. You tell him off. (laughs) Add to Charles. Too high. Is that that Gibbs? No, that's Charles Rudd. Oh, uh, Charles Rudd. I spoke to Gibbs the other day. That was all. I thought it might have been him. Yeah. He was um, commenting on one of your things, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So. We was talking about obviously our Hollywood was talking most haunted and ghost adventures and that, and we talk about Harry Sets trends, and I was having a sort of rant about the fact of um, these trends are allowing people to go out and think that they can investigate, um, yeah. and that people just not. I said I was saying like like people like me, you. Charleston, Matrix, Mystics, Equilibrium, out there, all these sort of teams are experienced investigators, experienced with the spirit world. They are, they know what they're doing. You know, we have studied this sort of thing and we go out with the knowledge and we know that we're going to be safe. But the YouTube, the Hollywood, these programs are allowing people just to go out there and try these things first time and gain an attachment. I mean, how many cases have me and you had? Where people have just gone, I was just asking who was there, and bam, it's there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, you look at take our line of work since uh, the first Conjuring film came out. Mm. Everyone claims to be a demonologist now. Everyone claims to be a cool yeah. yeah, you can do a diploma on the internet for 40 quid. That's brilliant. But when you, mm-hmm. you're going into a situation where you need more than what that little piece of paper tells you to do, yeah, you go up against a gin. You've done something like that. You ain't got a clue what to do. You've never even mentions that. No, exactly. Exactly. I'm going to have to make this even easier because we still haven't got a competition winner. It's a number between 50 and 75. <laughs> God, this is crazy. 50 and 75. Yeah. Yeah. i tell you what, mate. When I counted them, I was like, wow. I think We're I've got a rap- professionals now. I think I've got a guess, but I don't want to say it. No, don't say it. Don't say it. I'll say <laughs> it. I'll say it just before. Yeah. Um. Oh, we've got a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So, out to Debs, who got the right answer. What did you think it was, Ben? I reckon about sixty-two, sixty-three. You are miles away. Oh. Last week, last week's show was our 50th show. So this is our 51st show. So Debs, you are the winner. When we finish this, send me over your details. I will get hold of you on Facebook and I'll have this posted to you. You are the winner of the witchy bundle here on the other dimension show. Well done. Nice. I haven't got a round of applause. I feel really bad. Wait, wait for it. Wait, hold on. There you go. 
<laughs> totally professional. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like a little soundboard. I, I got a creaky door as well. Look, watch. <laughs> that just sounds like the ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh god that Joe what that used to freak me out the ring the noise yeah, being made if you yes. ever want a good horror film to watch guys watch the Korean version of it yeah I've heard about that have right I spoke about this before we come live have you seen that um trend going around the film on Netflix called Veronica it's um a Spanish movie and they've done this thing to sort of like increase the people watching it. And they're like only one in a thousand people can watch this film from beginning to end. It's not even that scary. It's not scary no. at all. They do. Netflix does that all the time. Oh, people yeah, can't I watch know. this film all the way through. No, it's because they fall asleep watching the film. That's why they never make it to the end. <laughs> uh, I, I watched that... Um... Yeah, at Cafe. Yep, yeah. congratulations to Debs, winner of the Witchy Bundle. I will be doing some more competitions here on the show. I'm hoping to do a Slate and Bone giveaway and the Be Paranormal yep. giveaway, who are our official sponsors of the show. So, give me that one. That's coming in the new year. I'll also um, give away one on one free lessons if anyone's interested when I get this, all this stuff organized. Mate, that'll be quite cool. That'd be quite cool. I'd like to sort of... I want to sit there and write my own sort of thing um, when it comes to the whole demonology, occultology. I wanted to sort of give people that sort of... Um, I wanted to do a one-to-one on Watanism because that seems to be something that I'm quite good at. So I'd like to do something like that. So I might even offer that up to somebody. Um, have you watched a possession? I've seen that. Didn't like the ending, but like you said, it's the end. That was yeah. That was that's what started the frigging Divi boxes. Yes, yeah. And have you? I watched the riot the other day. Have you seen that one with Anthony Hopkins in it? Yes, that's really yeah. good. That's a good. I really enjoyed film. that. Yeah, I think with that one, it sort of stayed true to the whole demonology but it's more of a christian judeo sort of view of the demonology do you know what i mean stigmata is a good film to watch it's very low yeah low rate you know here is it much but that is a quite a good film to watch yeah yeah there's and lots you know of cases for... For stigmata. yeah and for sort of if you want an all-out thrill ride um, where you're scared from beginning to end, it's a toss up between Exorcism of Emily Rose and Brave Encounters 2. And watching the Daily News. Uh, yeah, or there's always that other option of the other dimension show live on S- <laughs> Pulse Talk Radio, 7 to 8 pm. <laughs> Pure scares from beginning to end. <laughs> now with the other dimension guys I've got to mention that we will not be live next week obviously because it's Christmas Eve I'm hoping to do a New Year's show lots going on in the new year 2022 is going to be massive here at the show yep. we've got people coming on like Andy Moore we've got Sarah Penny we've got Fred Bat. hopefully Yes. If he ever agrees. Yes. Yeah. Um, Get him on. I've, so I can we're hoping to have people like again. Richard Felix on. I want to get... I want to start doing um, this thing. I don't know if... I want to talk to Ben about it. I want to sort of do this um, almost like listener profile. So, Joe, like our regular listeners, I want to get them on for like 10, 20 minutes and sort of yeah. question their viewpoints on what yeah. we're talking about. Um I have so someone gonna... who already wants to come on for that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's something I want to do because I want to know, and I know that you want to know, the, the people that we have listening to the show. Yeah. It's definitely something that interests us, you know. Um, And with that, we're going to get them to pick subjects to do for the week after the show, which is going to be quite cool. Um, I've got a re- Actually, Joe, you know what? I've got a really 
really sort of weird subject coming in 2022. I want to talk about a guy, I don't know if you've heard of him, called Pierre Point. You ever heard of a guy called Andrew Pierre Point? It rings a bell, but I'm probably thinking of someone who invented uh, a program, software program. Yeah, he is the, the hangman. He's not the one from the French Revolution, is he? No, he was the last active hangman in England. He hanged Ruth oh, Ellis. Wow. I'm thinking, yeah, I was thinking someone else. Yeah. I'm at, I got his book for Christmas from one of my friends at work and I'm reading it and I want to talk about it on the show. I know it's not paranormal, but it's a really cool subject. Um, uh, it kind of is. Yeah. Emma's saying birthday special, Frodo. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, because my sister's, sister's getting older. She's older than me. <laughs> When's your birthday? 20th. Of December? I'm not saying what month. I'm just saying it's 20th. Oh, you're... S- <laughs> nah, I don't even remember. <laughs> wow. Talk about putting me in a position like where I look like a complete knob. Do you know what I mean? Right. That's all right. <laughs> to be yeah. fair, yeah. as my sister would probably vouch in the comments, I've changed my birth date thousands of thousands of times. It changes every year. <laughs> Oh, oh dear, 20th of January. Looks like it's going to be a, a special. <laughs> yeah, no, we will do that. I think I'm going to have to leave you guys because it's starting to fill up and starting to start off. So I'm going to disappear. No problem, man. I will see you all after Christmas, New Year. Yeah, wicked. Mate, take it easy. I'll speak to you before Christmas, all right? You and Luke. Yeah. We'll catch you all later. All right, Look out for everything else that's coming on the dimension. Obviously, Patreons. Yep. And you guys that have commented on my post, I will get the lectures set up as soon as I can. Um, mm-hmm. Once I've had the email back from MIT in America, who won the course being done. You're, you're a show off. You're a proper uh, show off. Yeah. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see first. It was it was one of my Cambridge professors that set me up for that. Wicked, wicked, uh, wicked. See. All right, mate. Well, look, we'll let you go. I'll finish up the show, and I'll speak to you before Christmas. Take it easy, yeah, mate. Catch you later. See you all see later. You in a bit. Christmas. <laughs> all right, then, mate. <laughs> oh God, that's gone like that. What's, what am I doing to myself? Right, guys. So. Massive congratulations going out to Debs. I will contact you after the show and we'll sort out your address. I will get this all posted off you. It's completely free of charge. Well, thank you so much for getting involved in the competition. Now, last seven minutes of the show, I want to wish every single one of you TOD guys out there, every one of you other dimensions and sniners, I want to say have a wonderful wonderful christmas in my religion we say god yule so god yule to you who and also have a really good new year i'm hoping to be live on new year's eve depends on the state that i'm in so if i'm in i mean if ben's here we're here um a couple of massive shouts outs i've got to do before i finish the show Obviously, shouts out to my co-host Ben and Lou. You guys are awesome. Big shouts out to Carl Wa. The guy is a legend. Um, big shouts out to our regulars. Debs is always there. Kathy. Big shouts out to Vonnie. Big shouts out to the family. Out to Emma. Um, massive shouts out to Matt Chapman. Russell Old. Don't forget, catch him live in six minutes on Journey Through the Unexplained. Who else locks in all the time? Big shouts out to Bob Anton. He's been a massive feature on the show this year. Um, Really cannot big up Bob enough. He is a legend. Um, Big things coming up in the other dimension. We've got some really cool things coming. Um, More competitions. um, More ways 
to get yourselves involved. We've got some big sponsors. Don't forget to check out our sponsors, guys. Head over to Be Paranormal Equipment. If you're a ghost hunter or you're interested in contacting spirits on the other side, head over to Be Paranormal. Yes, sorry, I forgot about that. Big shouts out to Jacqueline and the Paranormal Path crew at to Louis Haddo. You guys, massive. So, yeah, check out our sponsors, Be Paranormal Equipment. Listeners of the other dimension get a special 20% off. They're already ridiculously low prices. I mean, REM pods, 20 quid. You'd look at 16 quid with a discount. Like, come on. Come on, guys. Can't be that. And also check out the other sponsors, Slate and Bone. That's a company run by Ben and Lou. They do bespoke bits and bobs. So head over to Slate and Bone. Listen to the show. Gets a special discount. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Emma. Have a really, really good one. Best wishes to you, Vonnie. And have a really, really good Christmas. God, you all to you all. And don't forget, guys, stay safe. Omicron is on the rise. Please look after yourselves, guys. Please, I know that you can still watch the show when you're self-isolating, but I will feel completely gutted if it starts spreading around. So I'm off. Don't forget, guys, keep it locked in, locked on. You've got Russ Old on here, live on Postal Radio in around about three minutes. I've got to jump off. Have a wonderful Christmas from everyone here at the other dimension, from myself, from Ben, from Lou, and from our other guy, Christian Green, who does Shadows of History. We wish you a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Take care, guys. I'm out of here. Love you and keep going with what you're doing. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.